My name is Becky and on today's video you are going to be seeing how I revamp my living room I have moved my furniture last week and I've had an empty eyesore in my living room um, for about a week and a half now so I wanted to give a little dedicated homeschool and home office area to my kids and I I am always on my computer and I'm always editing videos or answering emails and my kids are homeschooled well not really homeschooled i have a preschooler she's four years old i have a toddler who's two and i have leo who is six months so we do spend a lot of time at home and doing these homeschool activities so i just really wanted a dedicated area so in today's video you're gonna see how it all comes together and i will be linking everything below from the desk to the chair that i'm sitting on to all of the little decorations around the walls and the kids table everything will be linked below for your convenience if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel but we're gonna get right into it i got this table from walmart it was 35 dollars i'm very excited to see how it comes out i haven't even opened the box And I also got myself a desk. I've been wanting this desk ever since we moved here and we haven't had like a dedicated space. So I postponed it, but I'm super excited to have it. It's on Roblox right now. I'll link it below. And I also got this fluffy chair that I'm super excited to use every single day. super quick and super easy i love building stuff but this was super quick um so all i have to do is add the little felt tips to the bottom of everything and then we're done with the kids table. with how it came out i didn't even notice that it was a dry erase like on the top 
which makes it so much better because I can just draw or I can give them examples of things and we can just clean it off. That's so much better than what I even thought it was. I'm super excited about it. Toy Story is done and the girls are playing in the room from what I hear. So I'm just going to run straight into mine and hopefully I can get my desk built before Leo wakes up because it'll be way too much between lunch and the baby and the building. Yeah, so he's still sleeping perfectly fine. I love building stuff. Do you guys like building stuff? I don't know why. I literally love building stuff. I built my bed set. Well, not my bed set. I was pregnant. But I built all everything in Haley's in the girls' room. I built it. I put it all together by myself. I love doing it. I don't know why. But you never loved someone. But you never loved somebody like I just did. But you always hurt the ones. Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with. You don't know nothing, 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 nothing. You don't know what it feels like. Baby, I'm hurting, 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 hurting. And you don't even ask why. Why I'm staying up all night. I haven't slept since you came into my life. Why I'm drinking all the time. Why I'm feeling lonely when you're here by my side. I just want something, 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 something from I love you. Thank you. Do you like mine? Yep. I must your computer. One more. Yeah, one more I have to build. But, baby Leo. But, baby Leo just woke up. Oh, he's getting heavy. Say good morning. He's like, what am I talking to, Mom? Say hi. I had a good nap. Hey. Yeah. I can't believe that you came into my life You made me feel again, now it's my turn You say you've always been a little bit shy But I can put an end to your fears Let me show you a place Where you gon' wanna move your feet Until they start to bleed DJ, take it the vibe that I was going for I didn't want like a super office style I didn't know how tall the table was gonna be and I like to sit like all like lounged instead of just sitting up straight so I absolutely love this and it matches the throw that I have over there and they are she's probably a little bit big but it's okay I have a ton of stuff to put up here on the wall but we're gonna go have some lunch, right? So, you want some lunch? So I'm gonna have to eat on my table. And what, what, when we put the shelves, we can grab our things we need to do for homework. Right? Yeah. Yes. Tonight is all for you and me. So baby, spin. Yeah. 
Don't take no chances Fill up all the blanks with lemon sprinkled ice Please don't ask me twice Rhythm got me bouncing Bottles got me crashing Don't you know? together our little homeschool and home office area i really wanted like a little dedicated area so that we can all focus on what we have to get done because sitting on the counter and where we eat and where we play was just i felt like it was a distraction and i needed an office area because i normally edit right now on my bed in the middle of the night and i end up falling asleep so I wanted it to just have all of my office things together with my computer and I wanted for the girls to have an area here it's full of colors and I put it at eye level I also have baby Leo who's going to be crawling any minute now so I have another space right here behind my desk next to the girls so that he can be here hanging out with us every time we're doing some homeschool or anything this recliner is not going to be staying there i am going to be giving it away sometime this week i just don't know when the lady is coming to pick it up but i either plan to put the girls bookshelf there or just have something else in that area just to tie it all together but the recliner i thought about keeping it but it's just a little bit too big for this space and kind of like just makes it claustrophobic and i'm just not feeling it i want it out as you saw, I put all of our workbooks and homeschool little resources, activities, and things like that into a plastic bin. I have it right here next to me, and I plan to put it in that corner. But I wanted it to be here and not in the drawers that I've had it in the kitchen, just because this is going to be our area. If you did notice, though, I did not put any crayons or colors or anything. What are you doing? I didn't put any of those things at their level just because I think that it's been very helpful to have it at my reach and not their reach or at least somewhere where I know they're getting it. The crayons, I don't want them to be walking around the house, coloring the walls or coloring any furniture. So far, fingers crossed, that has not happened and I want to keep it that way. So whenever they want those crayons and colors and whenever they need stuff like that, I will be here with them and... What we've been doing is whenever you're using them and you want to walk away, you walk away but you leave them there or you let me know and I'll put it away. So that's worked and I'm not going to mess with that because I really do not want to start dealing with color crayons on the walls and none of that. I know that the kids, it's inevitable but I want to try my best to not have that going on. So I do plan to spruce this up a little bit and have a little bit more decorations but Honestly, like I don't know how much longer we have in this lease. Well, I do, but it's not that much longer. So I don't want to buy things just for this space when where we're going to be going might be bigger or might require different things for the space. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share with somebody that you think will benefit from watching this or any of the resources linked below in this video and subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you here on my channel and i'll catch you in the next video bye you want to say bye bye I'm just in it for the